We want to continue our team coverage now live with on your sides Kaylee Tracy. She is outside the courthouse in downtown Jacksonville. Kaylee, what kind of reaction are you getting? Heather, it's pretty quiet down here, but I do want to tell you I just got off the phone with Ahmad Arbery's father, Marcus Arbery. He tells me he was at work when he heard the verdict. He said he was extremely surprised, and he says before this verdict, he didn't know or didn't think his son would get justice. He says this gives him more confidence that his son Ahmad may get justice. Of course, that case is still ongoing, but right now I do want to bring in former JSO officer Kim Varner to talk to us about this verdict. So. Kim, you've been working with the community and community leaders as well to bridge the gap between officers and the community. Talk about your reaction to this verdict. Well, I think I think it's going to help uh, people gain trust in the judicial system. Um, they made the, what I feel would, would, would they, were, they were looking for the right decision to, to be made. I think the jury made the right decision. Uh, I think this was, is, a, is a start to the healing process. So. As far as what needs to be done in the community to bridge the gap between officers and the community, talk about what you talk about at some of your trainings. Um, well, I talk about the, the, the officers getting out of their car, making themselves more approachable, um, you know, approaching people, introduce yourself, tell them why you're here. You know, if, you, if you're really out here for the right reason, let people know it. Uh, let them know that you're here to help, you want to be part of the problem, want to be part of the, uh, part of the solution, I mean. And um, you know, and let it, let it, let it, let your work speak for itself. If you, if you're serious about what you're saying, your work will speak for yourself. People will see that you're serious. You have to be consistent in going out and talking to people. You can't talk to them one day and not the other day. When I was in patrol, when I first got on the job, I kept a basketball and a football in my trunk, and I would go and to the, uh, the low-income apartment complex, get out and play ball with the kids on the court. And not only am I winning the kids over, but their parents are sitting up in the apartment. They're looking down saying, well, who's this officer out here playing ball with my kids? Mm -hmm. And that, that you know, you, you also winning those parents over. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's how you, that's a start in how you bridge the gap, in my opinion. All right. Well, thank you so much. And as everyone else has said, we do have more on air and online later tonight. But of course, on FirstCoastNews.com, I'm going to hand things back over to you guys in the studio.